The theme for this video is proving or verifying the law of cosines. I am Mr. Ish. Thank you for joining me. So let's get started. Start here with an x and y coordinate system starting from the origin 0 comma 0. Set a point here a comma 0 and create a point over here that's point P. Connect these to form a triangle and your triangle would look something like this. Here's a certain angle theta. That particular point P cannot be defined in any way other than it represents a certain X and Y value coming in as a coordinate pair. You have to represent this in terms of A because obviously from 0 to A this is your A side, this would be your C side, this here would be your B side. You have to get those values for X and Y, this point right here. If you were to find the distance of the segment P and then we'll call this point A, you were to find this segment distance it would be equal to C and that's the way you would do it. How can we determine the values here? Well we can using right triangle trigonometry draw a right triangle and extend this downwards you have a 90 degrees and determine X and Y in terms of theta. Look cosine theta is equal to you know this is X dimension this is Y dimension cosine theta is equal to x over b, hypotenuse, x is equal to b cosine theta. Likewise, you can do sine theta is equal to y over b and y is equal to b sine theta. So now we know that point P, which is x comma y, is equal to right over here, which you see. It will be b cosine theta and b sine theta. Now you have everything you need. You have your point P and you have your point A coordinate. So you're finding the distance of this segment which is made of the following two coordinate pairs. You have B cosine theta and B sine theta. This represents point P and then you have A comma zero. You run this through your distance of a segment formula. Distance here which would be the distance of the C which is what we're determining would be equal to the square root Y2 minus Y1 whole square. 0 minus b sine theta whole square plus x2 minus x1 whole square a minus b cosine theta whole square open this up keep everything in the root the first part is easy this is just a b square sine square theta this right here is just a opening of a binomial not hard you'll have a square plus b square cosine square theta minus 2ab cosine theta. All of this is still under a root. If you look at this entire expression, you can isolate b square and let's just work here on the side. It'll have sine square theta plus cosine square theta. This is me isolating and looking at those two. This is equal to 1. You're just going to get a b square from right there, so that's easy. Your distance segment is going to be, well, you have a b square and the root and you have an a square and then you have a 2ab cosine theta. You know all of this is equal to the length of the segment c. Take the square root on the other side. c square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab cosine theta. And here's your law of cosines. With regards to c, you can flip these letters around and this designation here, you can make it b comma 0, c comma 0. Flip things around and you can individually come up with the law of cosine variance for a square and b square and your verification procedure comes to an end so you've seen it thank you for watching have a good day